Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to walk you through the process of installing SyncThing on Ubuntu 22.04. SyncThing is a powerful, open-source file synchronization tool that allows you to keep your files in sync across multiple devices, whether you're a Linux enthusiast or just getting started. This step-by-step -step guide will help you set up SyncThing on your Ubuntu 22.04 system. Let's dive in. Before we get started, let's briefly talk about SyncThing. SyncThing is a decentralized file synchronization tool that ensures your files are always up to date across multiple devices. It's secure, private, and easy to use. I will install SyncThing on a Contabo server. SyncThing is a peer-to-peer -peer file sync service, meaning that your devices form a direct connection instead of storing files on someone else's servers. But what I need is a server that is on 24-7 so my other devices can sync to the server anytime they come online. If you have a machine that is on most of the time on your local network use that is the central server. Let us install SyncThing on Ubuntu using the official deb repository. First install curl if it not installed by running this command. Download the gpg key then import the key by running this command. Add the official deb repository by running this command. To enable secure communication with repositories over HTTPS run this command. You can now install install sync thing by running this command. SyncThing is now installed. Enable SyncThing to auto start at boot time by running this command. Replace root with your username. In fact, you should create a user with admin privileges and use that account to install SyncThing. You can check the status of sync thing by running this command. Press Q to exit. Check the firewall if it is enabled. If not enable it. Open port 22 first if you are using SSH otherwise you will be locked out when the firewall is enabled. Open port 22000 in the firewall. Sync thing uses port 22000 to communicate with peers. If you have installed on your local machine, you can use this address to access the web interface of SyncThing. But since I have installed on a VPS, to access the SyncThing web interface, we need to set up a reverse proxy for SyncThing with Nginx. Create a config file and add the following. Add your own domain. If you do not have a domain, you can purchase one from Namecheap. The link is in the video description. You need to add in a record, you can name it whatever you want.
Reload Nginx by running the following. Let us open port 80 in the firewall. Let us now access the sync server web interface. Let us install an SSL certificate. First open port 443 in the firewall. Run the following command to install Let's Encrypt. Next install the CertBoat in Nginx plugin by running this command. Run the following command to obtain and install a TLS certificate. Add your own domain name and email address. As you can see the SSL certificate is now installed and the connection is now secure. Let us add a password to the web interface. Make sure to add one otherwise anyone will be able to access the sync server. Let me now add a folder that I will use to sync files with other devices. Sync thing also creates a default folder you can delete it if you want. Let me now sync the files on my Ubuntu machine with my Windows 10 machine. First let me install the sync thing on the Windows machine.
Let us add the Ubuntu server. To add a device you need the ID of the device you can obtain the ID from the actions menu on the top left corner. Just click on show ID. This is the ID of the Ubuntu VPS machine. You need to approve the addition of the machine on the other machine. After some time the machine will say connected. Congratulations, your two machines are now connected. Let us now share a folder with the Windows machine and then add some files and see if they will sync. The files are now synchronizing, and there you have it, a complete guide on installing and configuring sync thing on Ubuntu 22.04. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Linux tutorials. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and happy syncing!